Flower Moon by Vampire Weekend. Talk about replacing Ross Tam and just shoving Daniel Hyman <laughs> as a cover. I guess. I love it though. I I would pay to hear more collaborations between and, and Ezra uh, did most of the Production? composition and oh. recording for this album. He sort of took charge where Ross Tam would have normally taken the lead on things. And it's strange how he has all these string arrangements, but like in a more orchestral fashion instead of the classical. Yeah. What well, classical? Sort of like bar- baroque style. Yeah. String arrangements that Ross Tam would pull out. When I say classical, I mean, I don't know, like, because some of these songs literally sound like a like a film score. Not this one per se, yeah. but this one is very empty. It feels empty. Yeah. It feels like it's in a white room. I guess like a big old white room. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like it's the, hard. The, the, the bass is so low now, it doesn't. Uh... That's one thing I felt. The bass could have been higher. Yeah, um, it's really good song. But anyway, that that's what I was feeling. Yeah, they they have something to say about this music video. No, this wasn't a single. This is just some album oh, track right. I gravitated to. I don't know why. I just keep playing it. Is it a very? Is it a uh, double album? Yeah, I think it's like 18 songs, but All they're right. not as long as you think. Some of them are one minute and a half, some of them are two minutes. Hmm. A lot of substance, though. How many times have you listened to it? Five. How does it compare to the other albums? Mm, different. I still think Modern Vampires, the city's their best one. Yeah, me too. Contra is my favorite one because it's so bright. Vampires, um, <clears throat> modern vampires of the city. I hate the name of the album though. It's just so long and like you already have vampire. We can hear a name, dog. Stop it. I don't have a vampire. They had to meme. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, it, it's different. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It's there's a lot of life to it. And anyway, what we're hitting the ten minute mark. So what are you feeling? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, I'm gonna play some music from this electronic musician, Bats. Okay. I was like, you're taking a bath. Yeah. Um, it, he's apparently like inspired by, he, he writes most of his music while he's in the bath with this. Amazing. Something like that. Um, cool guy. Um, is that electronic? Yeah, electronic. So it's, it's, it's kind of like. His laptop is in the bath with him? Or like he writes, he sings also. Yeah. And so he's, he's not a shower guy. He's a bath guy. Yeah, he's a bath guy. He's yeah. a, and he's he has some like man. some dripping. He's like a bubble bath, so lavender. He's a tabos. <laughs> <laughs> he's a tu- he's a rubber dub dub tub. I didn't want to make that joke, Jed. Um, but I did. Fuck and you. And that other tub tub thumping. I don't know. You that's some chumba wumba. Um, I guess the band. Anyways, a one hit wonder. Some Britpop anthem. I guess you know. I get no. Oh, uh, they they're British. Yeah. I thought this ugly Americans. I never even saw what they look like. Us. How do you know that? The music videos from 90s dog and this is a tangent anyway baths yes yeah, so baths <laughs> uh so this is off his debut album uh sir sir john sir c-e-r-u-l-e-n sir lean sir you lean okay celine not celine Cerulean. Cerulean. sir curlian sir curlian 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 okay Yeah, anyway, um, so I'm gonna play a song, Lovely Blood Flow. 